Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Today, I want to present to you a very unusual story about something Our Lady at Garabandal apparently said about life on other planets. Before we go any further, let me just say this has got nothing to do with the divine or the demonic messengers. This claim of Our Lady about life on other planets is way completely different from the things that divine messengers are saying about the great star of Andromeda and the humanities and our Lord Jesus Christ and the Hillel living out there in this this star which is actually a constellation anyway i've got loads of videos on on the divine messengers let's just stop there this little thing our lady said at garabandal has nothing to do with the nonsense of the divine messengers uh, whether our lady did say there were life on other planets it's not saying the humanity was created by the creator fathers and that there was a meeting of the archangels and the Hillel and the Demiurge on the great star of Andromeda. Nothing like that. Okay, just thought I'd better say that. Now we can continue. Okay, so in the best set of books on Garabandal, she went in haste to the mountain. The trilogy of books, which comprehensively summarizes the time of the apparitions and covers a lot of interviews, correspondence, the author did an amazing job. And one of the interesting pieces of correspondence that he manages to track down and include in his books is uh, extracts from a letter by Father Luicio Rodrigo, a Jesuit priest, and he was a seminary professor. He was a intelligent seminary professor. I think he was teaching moral theology in the major seminary at Comillas, a pontifical university of Comillas. And this priest, who died in 1973 and was a strong porter of Garabandal to the end of his life, he gives this letter explaining how Conchita and her mum, Anithita, used to visit his seminary in order to go to confession to him. And he says that when they came to confession to him on one occasion, clearly outside of confession, Conchita mentioned about the three popes prophecy that I mentioned in another video. But also, writing in a letter to Father Ramon Andreu, in a letter dated 13th of November 1965, he explains that the girl also told him, and I quote, she, Conchita, also told me, as the people were talking about trips to space, I asked the Virgin if there were persons living out there. And she told me, yes, but she didn't add anything more. The author to She Went in Haste of the Mountain says, this was an interesting fact or an interesting thing. And suddenly it is an interesting thing that just sits there in a letter written by this Jesuit priest to Father Andreu. Really interesting. So the, let's put it in context. So 13th of November 1965. This is about six months after the public, second public message, which was June the 18th, 1965. And so Garabandal is beginning to quiet down, quieten down a little bit. But Conchita presumably is still receiving a few locutions every now and then. Anyway, whether she is telling the priest or whether she told the priest that this message about outer space, inhabitants in outer space, whether it's a recent thing she heard from the Virgin or whether it's a long time ago, we don't know from the context of the letter. All we know is that people were talking about people living in outer space while Conchita was speaking to Our Lady, because it's strange though, because the children, the children don't hear people when they're in ecstasy mode. We're told when they're in ecstasy mode, they can't hear people around them. They just hear each other and they hear the Virgin. So I'm guessing that just prior to the ecstasy, there are people around Conchita who have been talking about space travel, people living out of space, and that's not surprising. The early 60s was full of these missions into outer space. You know, we had the first man in space, the woman, first woman in space, all building up to the lunar landing in 1969. So it's all building up. And even in that rural part of Spain, they probably couldn't get away from the excitement and the interest 
in space exploration. And so naturally, the young girl asks the Virgin Mary about life in outer space. And the Blessed Virgin seems to quite simply affirm, yes. Okay, let's have a look at the text and see what else the text could possibly mean. Okay, when we look at the Spanish text, I was kind of hoping that the Spanish text might give a bit more light. And maybe it does, but it clarifies a few things for us. So in the Spanish, we can see that Conchita is asking about other inhabitants in space. Habitantes. The same word that's used to describe the dwellers in the village throughout this book, She Went in Haste to the Mountain. It's a word that's used just to describe residents, population, people living in a particular place. So Conchita doesn't ask, are there persons in outer space? And I know this would have been a really theological thing to say, but if Conchita had said, are there persons living in outer space? We could have quite easily said the Virgin Mary is giving a very, a very fair mental reservation. And she's saying, yes, there are persons out there by which the Virgin is referring to angelic persons and demonic persons. St. Paul teaches us, St. Paul teaches us that the demons inhabit the air above us. That's in one of his letters. I'll put it on screen. One of his letters, he talks about the demonic forces that inhabit the higher places. So if the girl had asked about persons living up there, out in outer space, or just up there in the heavens, then the Virgin could have quite clearly said, quite reasonably said, yes, there are persons, by which she would be referring to, you know, the angelic or the demonic. But in fact, in the Spanish, she asks the Virgin if there are out there dwellers, habitantes. And she replied to me, yes, but she didn't add anything more. So, so it seems like Our Lady is affirming the existence of alien creatures, life out on other planets, habitantes, intelligent creatures that you can talk about as populations, dwellers, just like we talk about the dwellers of another town or a village or a city. That's what it seems Our Lady is referring to. Okay, but how authoritative is this? How authoritative is this? Was it a vision that Our Lady gave to the children together, the four children together, or was it a locution that Conchita received? It seems to me like it was a locution. And if it's a locution of the Blessed Virgin, about there being dwellers out there, well, we can probably put it in the same category as the three popes prophecy, which is actually mentioned in exactly the same letter and exactly the same priest, Father Rodrigo, is writing to Father Andrea saying, yeah, Conchita told me there's three popes and then the end of times. And it's in this same letter that he talks about, oh yeah, Conchita also told me about the Virgin saying, yes, there are those, there are dwellers out there. So maybe we can put it in the same category as locutions of Conchita that we can't really be so sure about. Otherwise, maybe we can say that the Blessed Virgin is still doing a mental reservation, habitantes. Maybe you can stretch that to demons. I know in screw tape letters, I know it's a story and I know it's a it's just a made up thing. But in Screwtape Letters, C.S. Lewis presents the demons as a kind of society, a society. And maybe the demons have a kind of society out there, a certain organization. Maybe Our Lady is referring to, as they look up into the heavens, maybe Our Lady, Our Lady, let's remember, has come down from the heavens. And so maybe Our Lady, as Conchita asks, are there people dwelling out there? Maybe Our Lady is fair enough to make a mental reservation and to, to say, yes, there are people dwelling out there, by which I mean a society of angels, a society of demons, the holy souls in purgatory, those poor creatures, those poor humans that are in hell, and those blessed who are in heaven. Maybe we can say the Blessed Virgin can fairly make that mental reservation and reply, yes to the girl. I don't know, I, I think that's stretching it. Personally, I think that's stretching it a bit. Looking at the words that Our Lady uses, that Conchita uses, 
It seems to me like the most natural way of understanding Our Lady's response to that particular question is referring to intelligent life that is not angelic or demonic, but actual creatures living out there in space. Is it contrary to Catholic faith that there are aliens, intelligent life out there? I think a lot of theologians say it isn't contrary to the Catholic faith and the idea of there being intelligent aliens wouldn't necessarily present a problem to our Catholic faith at all. Of course, saying that these intelligent aliens were created by the Creator Fathers on the great star of Andromeda, that would be completely and utterly heretical and illogical. But it's hypothetically possible for a Catholic to consider the hypothesis that there may have been aliens created by the one almighty God. There's some really good shows on that by Jimmy Akin. I like some of the stuff that Jimmy Akin produces on his Mysterious World podcast. I don't always agree with him, but he's got some really interesting podcasts about aliens, intelligent life, about all kinds of things to do with space exploration and the compatibility with these things and the one true faith, the Catholic faith. So maybe it isn't a problem for there to for the Virgin Mary to say, yes, there are aliens out there. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.